I'm Doug Herr. I'm from PT Tech. Um, PT Tech has introduced a, uh, a new product, a new idea into the wind industry. Um, it's a uh, torque limiter um, that is unlike any other torque limiter that's been uh, developed so far. Um, the torque limiter is designed to attach to the existing spacer section. Our torque limiter is designed to limit the reverse torque at a significantly lower torque value than the forward torques. The advantage with this is anytime there's a uh, dynamic event in the system, say a grid loss or a, um, any kind of failure within the system, the control system, a, a wind gust, a braking event, um, we can bring the, uh, we can keep the negative shock load that unloads and loads the bearings in the opposite direction very, very quickly. We can um, limit that down to as low as, as 25 to 40 percent of nominal. Um, in a forward direction, in a normal operating direction, it's going to run about 150. But as soon as you have an event that occurs, you need to limit that spike right away. On our display here, you'll see we have an actual graph of what happened on a turbine, on a series of turbines. The red that you see is a very high torque spike going through the system. It's reversing from a, an immediate negative shock. So within 200 milliseconds, um, you had a complete l unloading and reloading of the bearing in the opposite direction. Then with it reversing again to the forward direction, and you get that Christmas tree pattern. In that Christmas tree pattern, that's your bearings going back and forth on a loading front. Very, very bad for bearings. Um, on the green that you see here, the green shows with our device attached. With our device, we limit it completely to one direction. So the bearings may unload, but they're never loaded in the opposite direction. Your bearings are designed to take this. This will add a significant life to your um, gearboxes, and that's really what we're trying to do. Our, um, we have test gear that uh, supplied us with that chart and hundreds of others on a variety of different turbines to show that this event is occurring in modern turbines and especially in the older style turbines. If you have any questions, please uh, see us online at www.pttech.com. Thank you.